Hello everyone, welcome back to another achievement guide, and today we're going for the achievement Sins of a Mission for Lane Tank Red Do All the Work. I'm not sure if it's entirely necessary, this is at the very start of the game, you have to come through this point to hit Darkov, and I just felt the need to let Tank Red win this fight. I'm not 100% sure if it's necessary, but I did just to get this achievement going. Later in the game, we're going to hit the Cast King after doing uh, quite a few boss battles. And once you do enough good favors, which will be in the ultimate good guide, you can go into the uh, Garrett Barracks here and talk to this guy in the far right, and he'll start you on a quest with Tank Red. Now we're back in Darsov, and we're going to go find Tank Red. If we just go over here after spawning, he will be on the outside of Darsov, and he's going to be in this fight here. I actually worry that we need to let him do all the work here, but as you can see, I started killing people. I did not let him do all the work, which also makes me think you won't need to worry about that starting mission because I didn't have to worry about this one either. Right here, I just felt the need to use this set. I don't know what it's called, but just this long range missile attack. Just so you don't have to get close to anyone, you can hit multiple enemies and just keep your distance. And we've helped Tank Red here, and he's going to want to fortify a town, either Darsov or Kaskin. And uh, from what I've found, it might not matter, but I found a safe bet was to go with Kaskin. Because that would be a guaranteed way to know that you're going to be able to do this playthrough. Then we're back in the Darsov uh, garrison. We're going to go to the far right here, in through this door. And we're just going to go to the far right and find Tank Red again. And essentially, Tank Red's going to ask us to infiltrate and attack three bases, uh, three evil bases. But just before he does that, we're going to start with this um, mission here, where we're going to be defending Darsov. If you had chosen to put your uh, support defenses into Darsov, this would be an easier battle, but I cannot confirm that you will still get uh, the ultimate good playthrough, which is what I'm also going for, um, in addition to letting Darsov do all the work. So you can see here, Darsov's way above, and there's nothing to let him fight and do, so we're just going to keep blitzing through everyone and killing them. There will be multiple waves here, as you can see. Uh, this isn't the first, this is the second wave, and there will be a couple of these waves. And I just do the same sort of technique, use this ability from afar. You can try and uh, watch out for those throwing axes and stay back from them like I did, but as well to make sure you're aware of that giant demon's ability. You may have seen that he kind of made this swooshing attack, uh, it looks like a semicircle, and it goes straight across, you just need to jump over that, which I didn't there when I got hit. And now we're moving into our third attack, and what I didn't realize with this attack if you want to make it easier for yourself, is you can see those flying birds. I would use the Hellfire ability and I would immediately start jumping and taking out the birds. They were, I believe, a two hit at this point, depending on how good weapons and stuff you have. I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do with them, so I just really focused on shooting stuff down at the lower level guys, but I really should have been focusing on them. So as you, you can see, that bird took two hits, and he was dead. And I don't know why I was very insistent on landing this, uh, this long range ability, I just walked up to him and hit him. Then to finish off a couple more ground floor enemies. And here comes our last sort of wave. Um, and just stand back for this one. And I tried rushing him to get him to swing at me, but just stand back. I didn't want to ruin him, but he gets taken out really easily, which is good. And the others retreat. And this is Tank Red just yelling at them, telling them to take off. And that we've won the fight. And now we're going to go back into his quarters here. We're going to do those missions where I talked about where now we need to actually go on the offense and attack those cults. So you're going to want to talk to Tank Red in here. 
and he's gonna ask you to start these, those assaults and all those evil bases if you've played that Ultimate Evil playthrough, uh, starting with the Passage of Toon. So that's where we're gonna go first. We're gonna teleport to Arkov, which would be the easiest, and then go to that Tohan Passage um, location, which I'll show you here. Just trying to get up top. That's where we started in Arkov, and we're going up to Tohan Passage, and I was thinking it was right here, but it's now we have to go up one level. You'll see Tank Red starting the assault here. So you're gonna say, yes, you're ready. You're gonna let them enter the building for the attack, and you're supposed to follow them in. But I'm just gonna bail, as you can see here. I left, and I made sure I got off screen to load a whole new area. Then I'm gonna return right away. Didn't need to teleport, didn't need to wait a long time. And you can see Tank Red's taking care of everyone. And he's gonna be ticked, as you can see. He's like, alright, but let's go to Mount Casca and let's do the second battle. So when you go to Mount Casca, if you spawn at the top right location, and work your way all the way to the left, this is the top left corner of that Mount Casca. And if you jump up from the bottom, which is what I did here, you'll see them here. Same sort of deal, we're gonna talk to them. Say we're ready. Let them mount their assault. And this one's very easy. I can just drop down right off this ledge and we're gonna exit the screen, go back up, and enter. This one's sort of sad. You can see he's talking to a fallen soldier that you probably could have prevented and you didn't because we left him to do everything. And we're getting the achievement. But what cost? Because there goes the guard and it's all our fault. Would the guard have died if we had helped? I have no idea. But there it is, and it didn't pop for me right away, so I just, I, I was waiting to see, and I exited the building because it wasn't popping. As soon as I did, we got it. So good luck.